Hello fellow beer drinkers and welcome to Empty Barrel. I am Giulio and today we're gonna check out how good is Gricka Vjeshtica. So this is gonna be my first video using uh, English language. I thought this would be a good idea also for the future. So everybody from all around the world can insult me in the comments when I criticize their beer. Okay, I'm just joking. I hope you actually like my reviews and I hope to like the beers from your country. Today we're going back to Croatia. It's the first video in English but I've done a few in Italian which by the way will have new subtitles in English for the future so check them out. I reviewed already a couple of Croatian beers. Today we're reviewing a, a special Croatian beer. This beautiful Grička Vještica from Medvedgrad. So uh, the bottle is very pretty, like all the beers from Medvedgrad. And um, so you have like the this woman on the on the front, nice red, dark dark red color, uh, which is pretty nice, given the fact that the beer is red. And uh, it's written dark beer, extra strong unfiltered. We have a little bit of the story behind and but let's actually check the ID of this beer. The country of production is Croatia. The brewery, as I said, it's uh, Medvedgrad Pivovara. The first year in which this was produ produced is 1996. So it's kind of a tested beer um, and it's also one of the first that was produced in uh, Medvedgrad Pivovara, which was born in 1994. So it's one of the beers that made it famous. And the type of beer is a Dunkelbock, uh, which is like a sort of strong lager beer. Uh, it's pretty strong, 7.5% alcohol. So as far as I know, this beer is only sold in Croatia and maybe in Slovenia, but I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, the price for it in the actual Medvedgrad Pau is 19 kuna, which is around uh, 2 euro and a half for a pint of beer draft, which is pretty awesome. And it's not that cheap in supermarkets because it's 14, 15 kuna, so it's almost 2 euros in supermarkets. That's a very small difference and I would suggest you to go drink it draft in the pub. So with this said, we have to open it and try it. Let's go! So the smell is very sweet, but at the same time it's kind of dark, if it makes sense. But it's exactly what I would expect from a Dunkelbock. And um, it's very heavy on malt and barley smell. It's pretty good, like what I would expect. Let's see if the taste goes the same. So the foam is pretty nice and uh, pretty dark, it's not that like pale white of usual lagers. And uh, the beer is this like very nice ruby red, dark, dark red. You can see that it's unfiltered and I like it, the foam is very persistent. Let's try it. Yeah, this is pretty good. It is very good. It's actually sweet, but not too much, so you don't get that like heavy sweetness from uh, like Belgian ale style. You get a little bit of a bitter finish. It has a strong flavor that I would say, as I said, like it's like heavy on malt, and you can definitely feel like a caramel note. It's it's kind of bready. And this is fun. It's funny because uh, like the origin of the Bach beer was for uh, for the monks. It was a substitute for food, a substitute for bread when they were fasting. So it, it was actually their meal from uh, time to time, which is awesome by the way. I should try that. Yeah, yeah, definitely like it. And um, it's like kind of bitter but not too much finish really balance the whole flavor and it's awesome but now it's time for three fun facts about this beer number one Medvedgrad 
is the sponsor for a Tabor Film Festival, but even better for the Medved Run. <laughs> what is Medved Run? Well, it's, it's like a run, <laughs> obviously, but uh, it takes place in uh, Zagreb, Croatia, and um, to every runner at the end, there's a pint of pint of beer from Medvedev uh, Pivovara waiting for them. So it's pretty awesome because you get to do some outside sports, outdoor sports, and at the end you get to slam like really good pint of beer. And um, also they give ten kuna, which is euro and a half more or less, to charity for every runner that takes part in the run. Pretty awesome. Thumbs up. Number two. So there are uh, a couple pubs and uh, bars uh, owned by Medved Vinatiovara around Zagreb, but the coolest one is definitely the Fakim Craft Pub. So this bar uh, has 24 taps with all the beers from uh, Medved Vinatiovara, and uh, you can try all of them if you want. You're gonna probably get a bit too drunk if you do, but maybe, I don't know, go a day. Day in, day out. So, other than that, they have a 50 liter tank for home brewers, or actually, like, pub brewers. Uh, so, you can book that and go and brew your own beer. How cool is that? Number three. So, this is actually not the first time that I tried this beer. I have, I've had it many other times, but it's always nice to drink it again. And I never actually focused on reviewing it or trying to get small details about it. But the question is, was this the first beer that I ever had in Zagreb? Yeah, it's very possible. But you know what's the most important thing? I think it's the first beer that you should have in Zagreb. Cheers to that. So it's time to draw some conclusions about Gricka Vjeshtica. And uh, I don't want you to be mistaken with the fact that I still have like more than half a glass here. With, uh, with the beer to not be good. It's actually pretty good, but it's like 11 in the morning here, so, you know, 7.5%. I still haven't had any food today. It's, it's kind of hard to drink it that fast. So, and I also am gonna save it for later. So, yeah. So this beer is a really nice block beer. And um, for any lover of a bit stronger, beers in taste and alcohol. It's, it's sweet with very nice malt notes, uh, caramel notes, has a little bit of bitter finish which make it, makes it more, uh, more interesting, I would say. A little bit more complex and rich in flavor. And um, it's definitely a beer that warms you up, both in body and spirit. So with this said, even if Dunkelbock is not my favorite type of beer. I would rate Grichka Vjeshtica with a good 8.5 because it's a beer that I could drink every time I want a beer. It would never disappoint me. And as I said, it gives you that nice warm feeling that you can only get with Grichka Vjeshtica. So my friends, we're gonna wrap it up now. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you like the video. Uh, put down a comment if you want maybe a beer from your own country to be reviewed by me and know my opinion. I hope you fellow people from Croatia finally were able to watch my videos reviewing your beautiful and tasty beers. And please, if you subscribe, click down on the bell below so you can stay updated with all the new videos as soon as they come out. Stay tuned for the future videos and I just want to mention one thing before ending this video. So I am a very big metalhead and as you might see or maybe you didn't recognize I'm wearing this aborted t-shirt because I would like to raise awareness on the fact that many bands with the COVID-19 outbreak were not able to um, to play their gigs and they're not made, able to make a living. Uh, aborted in particular had to cancel their American tour and lose a lot of money. So please if you are into metal, buy some of their merch, it's discounted, I will put the link down below, I don't get any money out of it, obviously, I don't want to. All the money is gonna go to the artist and you're gonna support the music you love. Ghibli, I see you for the next beer. <laughs>